Ever fancied flying a Blackhawk? A community made mod allows you to do just that, and it just came out. With a clickable cockpit, which is nicely put together, beautiful lighting, and a great selection of liveries including some foreign operators for initial release. The UH-60L Blackhawk mod is shaping up nicely with startup sequence, basic radio support including SRS, ADF, Doppler GPS and ILS navigation, and even a helmet mounted display. Unfortunately there are no weapons to speak of just yet with only fuel tanks available, but the cherry on the top is air to air refueling which is a first for DCS, so you know I've just got to give this a go. Alright, the tanker is flying right overhead. This is a bit weird being so slow. I'm trying to time the, the join up. But of course he's flying really slow, I'm flying really slow, and we haven't got a huge amount of closure right between the two of us. So this is gonna be interesting. 150 knots, he's doing about I think 120, 110. So very slow. Oh, this is weird. It looks like he's just floating there. You can see the angle of attack on him. Alright, well we're going to lose some speed in the turn. I don't quite know how this is going to turn out. So let's uh, start turning into him. That's under, so we don't catch uh, too much of the wake. That is weird. It's almost like we're not moving. And let's ease off that. That's gonna take a bit bit of getting used to. Alright, radio, tanker, intent to fuel. Yeah, that was pretty smooth. Now, because it's a helicopter, pitch is going to be speed, and up and down is being controlled by the throttle, which is, should we say, um, different. Alright, let's get the fuel probe to extend. Not even going to comment on that. Alright, let's drop down, come to the right. I'm sure the wake's going to kick us around a little bit. Uh, yep, yeah. okay. Now it's probably worth mentioning I've quite literally never done this, so here goes really. First time. Cleared contact. Uh, this is, uh, I'm really worried how big that rotor disc is. I think we're a little close, let's uh, get back. And little power and tip it forward, tip it back. This is weird. Alright, I think we're closing. So let's try and get in. Ooh, first time. That was a bit of a snap though. That's God, trying to make an adjustment is difficult because you you pitch back and then your nose comes up to slow down and then of course you go up to follow that since you're able to cancel that with the collective let's try that one more time, this time without the gigantic snap I shouldn't have caught that, TCS is very generous right, here we go again it's not looking too bad And we've missed the basket. That's that's uh, yeah. There's a lot of uh, distance there, with no depth perception. All right, this time I'm going to keep the probe overlaid on the basket as we approach. Which hopefully, God, it's weird. You've got to use your throttle to go up and down, but you're fighting yourself with the uh, pitch movements. It's not too bad, all that said. I mean. Obviously I'm, I'm well versed in airway refueling by this point, but having never done it in a helicopter, I'm surprised it's come this naturally. Alright, let's get the uh, probe lined up. A little bit for a collective. 
Again, that was very generous, not a very good catch. I would have hit the outside of the basket if that had been more accurate. Let's come back out. Come on, we can do better than this. Alright, keep the probe and the drogue roughly aligned visually. Go for another stab. Again, the big jump. See, I don't like how much uh, leeway DCS gives you with that, because the probe isn't going to get in the basket, but it does anyway. I want to try and get that center. But uh, I think we'll hold the connection this time and pick up a bit more fuel. That said, it doesn't take very long to refuel looking at it. Right. Come on, this will be better. Contact. There you go, that's much more like it. You're fuel. God, how do I slow down? <laughs> So that leftmost bar on the console, that's our fuel level. It's not going to take very long looking at it, it's already up to half. Whoa, okay, down with the collective. H4 to the nose. Okay, it's a bit like juggling, you've got to uh, invert your inputs compared to flying a jet. Pitch is speed. Wow, yeah, that was a very fast refuel. Hmm. Alright, let's uh, come down. Bring the probe in. Chop over to the right. That is weird. But really, really cool. Now, I've got to be honest, I was expecting that to be a bit harder than it was. I guess all those hours of practice in the jet transfer quite nicely over to a helicopter, even though I'm relatively inexperienced at flying helicopters. The flight model seems pretty reasonable. The helicopter accelerates easily and simulates retreating blade and VRS. There are a few quirks with the flight model. It's not as detailed as you might expect from a full fidelity module. But to give it an extra test, I took a look at doing an auto-rotation landing, which as it turns out was rather hard. Alright, test number two. Can we auto-rotate lander? Engines off. Uh, low RPM, yep. That's to be expected. Lower the collective. Even more, there we go. Got to keep that RPM in the middle there. Otherwise we are going to drop out of the sky like a rock. Uh, where can we land? It's a big field there. And I need to think about how we're going to do this, because we've got a very long tail compared to the Huey. Let's pitch the tail back, get some RPM into the rotor. And some power. This is scary. I want to straighten the tail. 100 knots still. Touchdown. Pretty fast. Come on, please stop now. There's buildings in front of us. Whoa, there goes the nose. The wheel's dug in. Well, <laughs> we're alive this time. That's an improvement. Uh, well, that was something. That's quite scary to do, actually. She's very fast and she drops out of the sky quite suddenly. Unfortunately, the damage model in general is very simple for the moment, but if you fancy doing some transport missions, it's well worth a go in its current state. There's some quirks to its behaviour, and various bits of the cockpit are not simulated, but it's a fantastic start. There's even more to crew, although it's rather difficult to set up. Overall, the fidelity, whilst not on the standard of a paid module, is great. It'll be well worth watching the progress of this one. Although it would be nice to have some pilot models. The DCS community continues to impress me with their hard work. If you fancy giving it a shot yourself, it's available right now, and you'll find in the description, download and discord links. I hope you enjoyed, and take care.